Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to unbox the Moes Smart Remote IR Controller. It's a Wi-Fi model and the model number of this device is UFOR6. So we're going to do unboxing, see the package content. I'm going to show you how to pair it with the app and in the end also how to add your TV or any IR controllable device in your home um, with this device so that you can control them from your app. Let's get going. So first off, we start with unboxing. Okay. I see here we've got an instruction manual. Here we have the device itself. And that's about it. We have also a micro USB cable over here. So let's start with the device. Alrighty, so we have here some instructions. It uh, says just a warm tip, smart life, uh, smart living with uh, Wi-Fi IR. Okay, please read the instructions carefully. Okay, we skip the instructions and we're going to remove this as well. So I'm going to get this aside. We ignore the instruction manual and there it is. That's, there's the device itself. So you can see the model number there also. It's a UFOR6, but we do not have a power uh, adapter included, which means you're going to need an external one. Anything like uh, when in the range of 5 volt to 1 amp is going to work. So I got one for me over here and let's start unwinding the cord. Alrighty. We go and there we have it there's the device so first off you're gonna need to uh, power on the device just like that you just need a 5 volt adapter and the second step is I'm gonna show you how do you add it into the app now for those that have the app already um, I'm going to show you on the process, but if you don't have the process, please download the Smart Life app from the App Store or the Play Store. And then you can basically see everything. Uh, you can create your own home and after you create your own home, you can add devices onto it. Uh, make sure that your Bluetooth is activated and also you're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz band of your um, home network because most of these devices work in the 2.4 gigahertz band. If you're connected to the 5G, it might be that the device won't be discoverable. So I am going to click on the plus up top here and I'm going to click add a device. Okay. Allow while using the app. We allow the permissions. Alrighty, so now as you can see, we are already discovering, but the device itself has a pairing device over here, which you're going to have to hold for about 10 to 15 seconds. And as you can see, the device is discovered right here. So we're going to click on the device. And here you need to put your network credentials. So I'm just gonna pause the video, add the network credentials and click next. Alrighty, so the credentials have been added. And now we are going to uh, wait for the device to be added into our network. And as you can see, it was that easy. The device is now added to the network. So we are going to add a new device. So, so depending on the devices that you're going to need, uh, or at least you have in your home. So we're going to start with the TV and um, we have two options. We have the quick match and we have the um, learn match. So the learn match is basically you take the remote of your TV and you're going to basically point to the device for each command so that the keypad in your app is going to learn the commands and you're basically directing it to the IR blaster. So that way you don't need to, if you don't know the model or something, or maybe you just want a limited number of buttons, you can use it. But the quick match uses the database that they have created from other users to uh, make it faster for your TV. And m most of the times it works just like that. So my TV is a Philips. So I'm going to go with Philips. And now I'm going to click here and yes, so I can confirm my TV has turned off. So 
Um, now I can say it can control. Alrighty. Well, I, it actually turned off my TV, so I would have to go back to turn on my TV. Yes, it has turned it on. I again click control. I click one. Yes, it does control it. I'm going to click two. Yes, it is controlling it. Alrighty. So now we have this here. So um, basically that's about it. So you use the power, use the menu. So I'm just trying to see if yes, it is going to the menu itself. And uh, I click OK. I'm clicking something. OK, I'm browsing the Internet right now. So I'm going to show you also how everything happens on my TV. Uh, but for time being, I'm going to also show you how to do the learn match. Uh, so as you can see right now, it's already there. So if I click over here and I increase the voice, you can also see the IR um, blaster actually working. When I click yes, and I'm going to uh, now add another one and I'm going to do learn match. This is just to show you how to use that. So on the learn match, you can see, please point the remote controller to the device within three centimeters. So. Um, I'm going to hold power because that's the button I want to teach. And then it says, wait, to receive data. And I'm going to, uh, use power button over here. And as you can see, that's checked. So now I'm going to go use home and you can see it's waiting for that button. And there we have it. Receiving data received. So. If, I'm, if those are the only two buttons I'm going to use, that's uh, perfectly fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add also the menu button over here. And I'm going to add also OK and left and right. Uh, wait a second. So it's basically, we're going to go back to it. No, not quick learn. TV. Yes. Yeah, so basically when you're prompted to the manual learn, you just have to go and find uh, the um, brand of your TV. I mean, as I mentioned before, basically they're doing this so you can also um, Make sure that your device is learning more commands and also people can use the database depending on the model number and the make, the model number, uh, and of course the brand. Um, and now what we're going to do is we've added power, we've added home button, we've added the menu. Now I'm going to also add the OK button and left and right. So I'm going to hold OK. It's waiting to receive data. I'm going to click OK over here. Now I'm going to go right button. And I'm going to click right. I'm going to go left, left, down button. And I'm also going to add top. I'm not going to use anything else. I'm going to just click OK next. Um, yes. Oh, yeah. Actually, you can just learn the end, end the learning. Yep. So you can see the total number of keys that have been added is eight. Um, that's that's quite accurate. So I'm going to click save. As you can see, it says a remote control model cannot be empty. So for the model number, for the sake of it, I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to click save. And as you can see, that's the second TV over here. And as you can see, we don't have these buttons available because we added only a limited number of buttons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons in total. So now we're going to basically control um, the TV and see how that looks like. So first off, I'm going to click the uh, power button over here and wait for the TV to power on. As you can see, it's powered on. And now I'm going to click a uh, menu. That's uh, a device information. All right, I'm going to click menu again. OK, so I'm going to try to click down button. You can see I can go to clock. I go over here, home button. Yes, the home button is working as well. And uh, yes.
so home I'm gonna go left left right right and I'm going to also go to um, let's do let's do over here Amazon Alexa and I'm gonna click OK yep as you can see it's working like a charm that's about it thank you for watching the video